Hi friends. I should just say, guess who? You already know, I'm Gail, Fava of four. And for some reason, I've had, I probably have three videos here I can make out of all this. Because when I come in the door, the kitchen table's right here. So everything kind of sits here. And the longer I wait, for some reason, the more nervous I get, like I never did a video in my life. So I decided today, since I didn't look too bad, I had to go to the doctor. So you have to look a little bit better. <laughs> and I'm, it's harder for me just to do it on the table because I can never get the camera right. I don't know how everybody does it. And I only use my phone, so. Um, and I did come up with another song, I really did. When I was walking up the steps before, all of a sudden I'm singing, Mary dotes and dozy dotes and little lambs did I be, a kiddly divey do, wouldn't you? Now I think I said this once before, but that's how I always sang the song. But I never knew that it really said, Mares eat oats, and does eat oats, and little lambs eat ivy. A kid would eat ivy too, wouldn't you? Did you all know that? Because if you did, it's just one more thing to add to my list of, I don't know what. <laughs> so I'll probably make three videos out of this just because I talk so much. And I can't help myself, I don't know why. Maybe it's because when you're here by yourself, you don't talk and all these things come into your head. First, I'll show you some, um, oh, and I could, you know what? I was thinking the other day, every time I start to say, hi, I'm five or four, I think of the things other people say, like when, or Jeanette, you know, she taps her fingers, or Trisha, um, hi, ladies and gents. And I mean, there's just so many. I could put those all together. I think of them, I could put those all together in a video. And make one video out of how people start off their videos. Now, wouldn't that be interesting? <laughs> I don't think I get too many comments. See, this thing just doesn't seem right. I don't know. Anyway, I'll point it down. Debbie Vignola, remember uh, for all of you who watched her one video, she said, do you like Happy Mail? Well, I didn't know that meant she was gonna give away Happy Mail because if she had said that, I probably wouldn't have, you know, gone on there because you feel funny. But I think I was the first one that said, oh yeah, I like Happy Mail. And I like to send it to. So, Everyone who said they liked Happy Mail, she she asked, well, she asked me what I liked. And I love those um, uh, uh, the glue dangles that she makes. So here's mine. She asked me what colors I liked. Isn't that cute? For some reason, I like the t I like tiny things. Thank you. That was so nice of her. And I know last time I said it all wrong on the video, thinking she was from Refunction Crafts and because of the beat, I don't know. But what I think she was saying is she got these from, um, oh, what's, mm, Beataholics? I, I forget. And then the next thing I liked, I liked everything. But one of the things I liked most was her little card. And if she hadn't done it, I would steal it. If she ever goes off YouTube, I will steal this idea. It's a mailbox with mail in it, and it says Happy Mail from Debbie Vignola. 
Now, I don't know, I think, I don't know if it's French, like if the G is silent, but Vignola or Vignola. Is that adorable? Right away, I put a magnet on it, like I do everything, so I could put it up. Otherwise, I wouldn't see it. I love small things. And then, I have to tell you, this lady missed her calling. She is so perfect. This is the only, I got these a few days ago. This is really the only one, and I waited till the next day to open it because I was gonna do a video that night, but I didn't. Everything was packaged beautifully to where you couldn't even, I mean, not fancy in a bag, but you couldn't even find like where the seam was. And the box, when I got it in the mail, yes, it's a small priority box, but it was wrapped in brown paper. You know, like we, I'm sure she has regular brown paper, but like we used to wrap, do our school books. It was so perfect and creased. I swear she used her bone folder, bone, is that what it's called? That at first I thought, now, have any of you bought anything that um, is a personal item that comes in brown paper? You know, if you know what I mean? Well, right away I'm thinking, what is this? I didn't order anything. Is someone put, pulling a joke on me? Because it was just brown paper. I mean, it was so even, so tucked, so everything. I mean, she should, she should wrap Christmas presents for sure as a job, extra job. But you could just tell she's a perfectionist. And I'm so happy she's not coming to visit me because if she saw my house right now, she'd probably take her gifts back. But I'm not kidding. So I did end up opening, and just a nice amount of things. Look at these. I should put this down here. Look at these flowers. Now, I didn't know if she made them or not. I didn't think so, because it, but they were on a card unless you put them on, but they're called Little Birdie Flowers. And that's the color I adore. I adore that color. Hope you can see in here. It's, um, everybody tells me it's pink, but it's not pink. It's, um, it's like a really, really pale mauve. But I can't think of the, or it's called. I don't know, I meant to, I don't have any more lights, so I hope you could see that okay. But I absolutely love them, and I already made a stick pin and put one on there. I've been having a try at cards because I always say, you know, I can't make these things. So I made, well, I'm gonna take it out, this little stick pin from the one flower. But thank you, Debbie. You couldn't have gotten me anything cuter. And they have little rose, the little rosebuds and it's a beautiful color. I hope little birdie. You'll have to tell me if you got them at the store. It says handmade. Boutique elements. Little birdie. You'll have to tell me where you got them. I just love them. Then, oh, this I was showing you. Look at this. It, it's, it must, I don't know if it's, um. oh, what's that stuff? I can't remember now. But usually you could get it either curly or plain. I can't think. So I don't know if, if that's what it is. Looks like it. Or if it's just, if it's a ribbon. But it's so soft and off-white. It's gorgeous. 
just gorgeous. And it was, I had a finally, it was just in a little bag like this, but I finally had to cut it because I, I couldn't get it out. So you make sure everything is perfect. And then, I love these because I love stuff like this. The appliques. I really hope you're seeing them okay. Look at the butterfly. There are two hearts. Just gorgeous. She must have cut them out of something. Look at this. I love this flower. So soft and silky. Look at that, it almost looks like a sun. I'm trying, I'm trying to be more like Jeanette. Jeanette could look at a piece of string and have all these adjectives for it. And I think, geez, I go too fast, you know? I mean, she's, she just has something to say about each thing and it makes it sound so, the person who sent it must, you know, so, sound so, happy and appreciative and it's like she never saw anything like that before in her life so I thought geez you know I need to I'm more of a I like things but I'm more of a casual um looker that's how I met my husband <laughs> I should have looked better no I'm just teasing isn't that pretty and a bow Gorgeous. Just enough, just not like me. I throw stuff in the bag and take it or leave it. I mean, it was just folded beautifully and just plain but nice. And then I do believe either someone else made these or she did but look and I don't even know if she knows my thing is our pouches any kind all sizes all whatever and but these look like she made them and they're out of looks like like a linen too close and they're a nice a perfect size some of those little ones are too small there's six that she sewed and has the little strings pull strings I love them because as I said my presentations aren't anything to write home about and so things kind of get and then you know I like to I have fun decorating them and I can do some nice you know decorations on them I guess I'm a short cut person or I like to see results fast. And I'm thinking of changing my name. I don't know what to what, but it has to be something where it shows, I don't know if it should have the word eclectic in it or not, because that's exactly what I am, eclectic. I see one thing, I have to make it. I see something different, I have to make it. So, Debbie, thank you so much for that spur of the moment happy mail for your subbies. And Debbie didn't, at first she didn't think we were, I was subscribed to her, vice versa, but I have been for a long time. But I guess my name is just, if you don't put, I think sometimes if you don't put, um, Somebody was saying they had a hard time finding me. If you don't put FAVA in capital letters and then OV in small letters and then the number four all together, maybe sometimes you have a hard time finding it. I don't know, but I like this. And somebody was telling me this art glitter adhesive, they were looking for it and how great it was and sticks so great and everything. 
I mean, I've, I've used it. I have to say, I usually stick to my hot glue gun or some kind of crazy glue for my uh, anything, you know, on metal, my stick pins and everything. But I haven't seen yet where this is all that, but I've, I've used it, like I used it, you know what I do, I use whatever I seem to have in front of me at the moment. And I did use it on, because I didn't have anything else, I used it on the magnet. Now it stayed fine. I think it's just that I like a quick, a quick seal. But I did buy it. I got two of them. Now I'm going to have to try to make some of these. Look how cute. I mean, they're tiny beads. I love it. Thank you so much, Debbie. Thank you so much, Debbie. I really appreciate it. And I was so excited. I got three boxes in one day. But this one, I have to say, I really, it was, everything was so perfect. But this, it was so perfectly done that I could not tear it open with my hands. I had to get, I tried everything. And then finally, I had to get scissors because there weren't any scissors sitting right there. But it was, I thought it was some personal item. But I didn't order any. I wouldn't do such a thing. <laughs> okay. Debbie, that was just gorgeous. I'll set it there for now. And I put this up, you know, I always have it up in my craft room, but I... I need to, this is what um, a Loretta Volt, a cotton barn, had made me a while ago. A long time ago, actually. Maybe for my wedding thing. I don't know. But she, and then she always sends me these because she knows I was like enamored with these. And I color a lot of them with um, alcohol ink. Isn't that pretty? A few people made me. Some, like I said, I needed someone that said Gail's craft room, so I'll have to show the other ones. I mean, you've all seen them, but I'll show you again. Okay. Now, I I don't know if you want to see. I There was that live um, auction thing Saturday from Carol Hart from um, Artists with Disabilities. Well, that took up the whole Saturday, I'll tell you. And I, if you ever want, oh, if you've never done it before and you went on for the first time and want to feel dumb, that's, but I don't even care anymore. I just ask questions and then <laughs> I thought I had the hang of it. I was even helping other people, you know, if I could. I thought I had the hang of it and I kept waiting for this one thing to come up. And I said, finally, I said, well, when is it gonna come up? I said, Gail, that was a while ago. You need to refresh. And I didn't wanna tell him. I wasn't sure what, how to refresh. I thought refresh just meant push, pull from the screen down and it refreshed. Until finally I said, how do you refresh? I mean, I was so behind that I got, now I don't know if I ordered these accidentally or, people weren't buying them, so she just stuck some. Because I don't know, I guess for mixed media, people want different things. I don't even know if they're in here. I'll probably put them over there. No, I set them on the counter. They were all parts. Parts, look like car parts from a computer. I'm like, I know I didn't order these, but I could have, I was so behind. And they ordered these. I don't know why, but I guess I'll do something with them. I figured it was going to a good cause, so. This. These lockets. This, it's all beads. 
And I guess people donate things or I'm not, but I was so darn confused. And just when I thought it was about over, I mean, I actually had a headache from bending my head down, you know, looking at the phone and I got not one thing done. And then she'd, cause I kept waiting at, cause they were gonna have a, a raffle at the end. But I just, you know, she'd bring something on that I really liked and I'd think, oh, you know, let's face it. I didn't need most of anything. Okay, there was this, it's pink. It says, pleasant tasks maketh the heart light. And it's um, a linen. Isn't that pretty? That's a stupid thing. So I guess I ordered that. Now maybe something was wrapped in here. I, I don't know, but isn't that a pretty uh, um, handkerchief? Okay, I will show you one thing that's really pretty. Now these, I can't remember what you're supposed to do with them. I think you make like tags or something out of them. I'll have to ask Lori because she's the one that got me into this thing. This key can opener is a reminder that yes, you can. There's a key, and there's a thing, and a thing, and a thing. And then this. And this. So I think you make something out of it. I'm not sure. And I ordered three. Three. They're the same. I know I'm getting all confused here. I don't know. It's about it's the same, I think. Somebody will tell me what to do with it. You know, I thought I've only been on here five years, but my aunt died ten years ago I, uh, Valentine's Day. And um, I'm always talking about the house in Euclid that I have. Well, I finally sold it. Now I have to go up there. But, and when she died, I think was when I started, when I noticed YouTube or um, actually, unless it was the next time I went there, but it was Jeanette's um, banner thing that I made. So, and then I got these, the thank you note, but look at these postcards. Just because I'm such an angel, they sent me the angel. Kitty. Is there an angel or a fairy? I guess it could be both. I think they're angels. Look at those. Ah. I'm gonna have to make a lot of stuff. I'm starting to use more pictures. You know what? I didn't shut this phone off. Let me shut it off. Because it'll screw me up and I won't know what to do. I'll be doing three videos when I should have done one. And soon I will do this back in my craft room, but I'm still trying to get it organized. It takes a long time for all these little things. Now look at this, this gorgeous. Oh, where's the note on it? Who made it? Oh. Um. Where 
was a note. Let's see. Oh, and I also got, you know, this digi thing. Well, I finally figured out the digital things that, that you print out. <laughs> but since I can't get anyone to hook up my printer, I got them on a CD. Now, how that works, I still don't know. But these are, there's calligraphy on here. There's art by Jane Peter and library checkout cards. She got them all on one DVD. Um, oh, I'll have to find out who made this. Look at this. It's that silver gold. Oh, it was a cigar, cigar box. It's much prettier up close. See now, I know Roxy showed, Roseanne showed how she makes this silverish gold. But like these kind of things, I guess it wouldn't be hard. I, I did accidentally do that one um, thing for my son and, and never realized it was, um, oh, what do you call that stuff? I never can remember when you put all those little things on. I made a form, but didn't even realize that's what it was. And look, I unwrapped them, but these were all bottles that you put music paper on. Isn't that cool? At least I did that right. Look at this. I like to know how she got that color. I'm I'm just now, I had bought in the beginning, I didn't know, you know, about all the inks and sprays and stuff. So from um, Michelle, she was selling a whole box of things. So I bought, I got them from her. And the other day I'm trying to straighten up stuff and I'm looking at all this stuff and I'm like, oh, I didn't even know this, half the stuff was in here, paints and glimmer mists and the other sprays and it's just alcohol ink is basically was always my main thing because it kind of sticks to everything but I'm learning that there's other things Disabled Arts Foundation, D-A-F-I. And they have this auction, second or third, third Saturday of the month, I think, usually. They got these. And there was something one girl wanted on there, and I had gotten it, and I really didn't care. So I told her she could have it. And then another girl, I was looking for a Rolodex file. And she said, Gail, I have one I can give you. I don't know if I know her or not. Her name is Sharon. But I have no idea how to get in touch with her. But I guess she wants to give it to me. She'll, she'll find me. But I have to show you those parts. They're like, I don't know, like cart parts, but I think they're computer parts. And she was so shocked that nobody really bid on them. I got this little thing from the flowers. Oh, I'm probably confusing everybody here. But that's what I got from it's called D A F oh, like me like me, Daffy. Um, and you should again it's for a worthy cause and in order to keep going they need to even for postage and stuff they need to make money mine um I'm so organized
Ooh, look at the little thing I just hit. Anyway. I'll find it. But I think it's D-A-F-Y. Dis Disabled Artists Something Association. If I find that card, I'll tell you. D-A-F-I, Disabled Artists um, Foundation, Inc. And you can, uh, Carol Hart, Care Hart, Care Hart, Chairman of the Board. I thought it was Carol Hart, Care Hart. Hmm. So, it should be on Facebook when it's gonna come around again. But boy, you can sure feel, I mean, you know, feel, I feel dumb anyway. Directions and that kind of stuff. But I don't even care anymore. Okay, I have another happy mail. It's either happy mail or things that, I got um, uh, Karen Brake. Um, we've been friends for a long time, since the beginning of time. And she has a store also. And the first time um, we'd sent each other anything, she sent me, um, there I go again. The, uh, I know you're all sitting there trying to give me the name. The colored um, uh, I'll think of it is. And she'd already had it all crumpled up and stuff. So, I don't know, I had sent her something for something, I don't remember what. And I just asked her if she had any more of that because I wanted to buy some. And she said, oh, I, I'm, I'll get you something, I'm gonna, you know, I'm putting some stuff together for you, so me this box oh my goodness hi Gail I hope these good goodies find you doing well I apologize for my packaging huh she shouldn't apologize to me but in a few months we will be moving again Oh, to Ohio. Maybe I'll see her there. So a great deal of my craft supplies are packed up. Okay, she's telling me what some things were for, but we won't look at that yet until we see it. <clears throat> Let me see. Especially made for you. People make the cutest things. And I just love all these little things. <clears throat> Except I'm not very neat in opening them. Look at this, especially made for you. Look at that. See, this is what I have a hard time making. Anything like out of paper where there's directions, I'll, in one of the videos, I'll show you something I made. And it only turned out that way because I couldn't follow the directions for what I was trying to make. Look at that. I can put a magnet on that and put it in the fridge, on the fridge. Oh, I can tell adorable already. Except my hands, I drop everything. Look, it's little envelopes. I love these. I don't know about you guys, but maybe it's just because I'm getting older and my hands are all... I drop everything. And then with my back, I have to bend over and pick it up. Look, look what little notes on there. Huh. I'll figure out something sort of like Debbie did. 
and I could put these on. <laughs> oh, oh, they're just all so cute. Tiny things are always hard, harder for me, probably because of my hands. I'm getting more arthritis. Oh, look at that. See, everybody knows I like packets and pouches. Packets and pouches and packets and pouches. It's like I never know what to do first. I have the machines, you know, the cut out stuff and it's either that or I see somebody making jewelry and I make that. But these are so adorable and look how many I got. So happy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is adorable, this is gonna this little thing's gonna go on my refrigerator. Some people do paper things so well. And then just the cuts. I follow in directions. Because I don't have the patience to pay attention right. Thank you, Karen. I just love it. And then it's a paper, look, it's a, one of those paper um, doilies. Look at the little animals. So cute. I love cute little things. I really do. It's just little things that I, Go gaga over. Forgive the packaging. Oh, mine should look so good. And she makes everything. She's moved to Arizona not that many years ago. I'd say maybe five. But I think her husband's job. Look, no, I know she made all these. I would almost be pos say positively. Because I hate to say too much because a lot of times people open my things and say, oh, I'm sure she made this. And I'm thinking, no, I didn't. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that green. And there, my favorite color. Well, not my favorite. I'm liking oranges and browns too. And I like them all. Yep, she made these. They are gorgeous. And that's so time consuming. See, by the time you cut out and you get the paper folded right, which would I wouldn't do, and then you put this these holes in. And I guess if you do something for a while, Wait till you see my next video. Some of the cool things I got when I went to this one store in um, last Sunday and from a little store I found that just opened. Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. I must have caught her at a good time when she was packing. And I got some of the stuff. And it says here, um, the plate is for dry things like cookies or bread and should not be put in water. You will have to put the center on some of, oh, to put the centers on some of the bows. Oh, seam binding, that's what it is. Couldn't think of it. I will send more seam binding down the road. 
down the road again. Do, 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 down the road again. Who sang that? Um, I'm gonna have to get scissors, I think. Uh, I know his name, but I can't think of it. I hate to get up because people are always making fun of me for getting up and walking away. <laughs> they say, all of a sudden, you're just gone. And then Jeannie Dreamer said, no, oh, it should have been obvious, really, that I was picking up stuff. And she says, why did you keep bending over? <laughs> it's like, well, I have to figure out where to set stuff. Okay, I got a hole in it. I know this isn't the way. Oh, I have to get scissors. She's got a taped like me she tapes things so much so that they don't okay I'm bending over Jeannie because something fell and I have to make her something too one of these days because she has sent me a couple cute little things okay I have my dinner sitting here because I haven't I haven't gone from the doctor Okay, hey, please have a scissors here. I would appreciate it. Yes, I do. While I was there, I have to show you these things. Look at these parts. Does anybody use these things? I mean, obviously they do. If anybody does, it does mix. And then I thought there were cards in there, but there's just more parts. Recovery through art expression. So it's a real thing. But I don't think it's my thing. And I either ordered it because I was so behind or because maybe she wanted to get rid of them. I don't know. But I don't <laughs> I don't quite relate shabby chic. But I'm sure her intentions were good. I'll put it in her back, that bag. I think these three uh, these happy males will be it for me for tonight. I'm pooped. I had to go to the cardiologist and it didn't really take that long, but I, of course, missed, I took Uber. I missed my appointment. <laughs> because I do everything at the last minute. So I was literally 20 minutes late, 25. And when I called, she said, well, if you're 15 minutes late, then you have to reschedule. I said, I can't reschedule. I said, I canceled it last time and I have to, I have to go. She said, well, I'll make, what I'll do is so they don't cancel it is I'll, we have one at 240 I'll make you. So, I was there that whole time. Look at this. I wonder if she made that. I don't know. I have to ask her. It looks like there's something that she put on this back. Isn't that beautiful? It was ceramic when she made it. Or she found it. In a thrift store. That's really pretty. The gold and the greens. Can you see? Thank you, Karen. Let me know. I'm trying to see. I see a few squishy things. I don't know. But it's really pretty. 
And you don't have to worry about me putting it in the dishwasher because it's not working either. My car is not working. Nothing's working around here. Oh, I am so glad to have one of these. I made some like this and I'd given them all away. And I have this couple journals. Well, one that um, Jeanette made me and then one that, um, uh, is it Diane Combs? Oh, mine's blank. Maybe, and I can never get a pen, you know, to put on it. And I said, God, didn't I save one for myself? Look, isn't that cute? I made some something like this. Look at the, look at the pen. I even put almost the same kind of pen in, except a different color. That's adorable. Thank you so much. And I really, really needed this. And it's cute to boot. Cute to boot. Oh, look at this. And I love tea hat. I know I shouldn't cut these. And, oh. I would cut them, but I have too many people watching me that are so neat and undo them, and you can use them again. So I'll try to do the right thing. Oh, look at that. A teapot with some tea. Oh, see, I think that's adorable. And tea bags in it. I really have to do more paper things. I love teapots and I like them. Um... Thank you, Karen. And see, I didn't mess up the envelope. It just it seems to me like it just takes so much effort. And when I make something, like I make one. And the other day I was making some snippets sitting in bed and I thought well why don't I just make like like Trisha little shabby she she shows like a whole tray of things she sat there and made I'm like oh my gosh a lot of people do that I'm lucky I made one at a time okay I'll fix that later but that is adorable and you know that lady I can't think of her name now Oh, that have everything they make are little and they make each other things and they put them in bags and I wish I didn't have to do it but I wish I wish I could they would all send me one. <laughs> oh I watch her all the time. Look this is what I all I asked her for was if she would send me some of these because she's sent them before. And she sent me all these, all crinkled up already. I forgot the name again. God, seam binding. And then, look at this one's really crinkled. Somebody told me later how you do it. You fold it all up and then you put a rub. You wet them, then you put a rubber band around them. I'm sure there's different ways, but I've never done any since she had me. She gave me enough, but maybe I'll try it. But it's nice to have plain ones too. And look how thick this is. See, I don't have any of this thick board. I don't know. People talk about 30 pound, five pound, 10 pound, 100 pound. I don't know how to, um, I don't know, you go in the store and you can find 
all that heavy stuff. Because sometimes you, you have to have it. Oh, look at these. These are really pretty. And I've been saving my bags. Look at that. I'm sure she made these. Yeah. So you can take them off of here. They're like little snippets, actually. With flowers. Look at this one. I hope the light's okay. That's why I like to do it during the day. Because you have the natural light. Look at that. These are really pretty, and I love these soap flowers. gorgeous. For me to make a box like this, a whole box, and some people do this all the time, would take me with, with uh, doing other stuff that I have to do that I don't usually do anyway, <laughs> would take me weeks. How are people so fast? Well, you have to tell me what part, uh, Karen, of Ohio you're moving to. You know, I'm from outside Cleveland, but, and Michelle Callista lives that way too. So you should be able to find some. Okay, this looks, oh yeah, that's good. The crafters. But the really neat craft store I liked when I went there closed and became uh, Michael's. And they had different things. Oh, look at these pretty dry flowers. Aren't they pretty? Beautiful. Thank you so much. But it's funny when I, I think to make a gift for somebody, like my nephew just got married or somebody, I don't know what to give them because everybody, unless you like this kind of thing, they just kind of, I mean, if I told somebody I was going to, I'm giving them a junk journal, they would have no idea what I was talking about or know what to do with it. I guess I tore that bad. They just, people just look at you weird. And they always say, well, what do I do with this? Like stick pins. Well, this is really nice of her since she's moving, too. I could never do all these things at one time. It's bad enough in a month. I, I'm going through all the paperwork now, but in a month I have to go to Ohio, figure out how to get stuff back here. I can barely walk between my back and my knee. I didn't get done yet. Look at that little box. We had a big, big family, and now there's not that many people left, so there's not going to be any help. I just try to put it out of my mind. My son said, I'm not bringing a lot of stuff back, but there are a lot. She's got some antiques and some things that that I would like to ha keep. And some beautiful lamps, antique lamps. Hand sanitizer. Thank you. That little box she made. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's adorable. It's a box that would take It would take me a long time to make that. Thank you, Kira. But I just, I can't believe that she managed to do all this. Over the years, so many things have gone on and I think I've been overly stressed that 
I just don't seem to be able to handle the things I used to be able to. And it could be that I'm getting a little older. But you know, my mother is 91. Look at this. Come on. Oops, I'll fix it. Mini tear up calendar. Oh, that's adorable. She just bought one of these plastic frames, stuck this in there. This is something like when I made that glue gun holder out of that I had in my, I put by my bed. Cause I do so much stuff up there. I mean, nothing like one more room to mess up. Um, anyway, I was saying my son said to get a pod and somebody could drive it back, but like my uncle's tools, I mean, he's got really good tools and they've, you know, from a long time ago. And there's a really heavy, um, I have the stand here, but I couldn't bring the other part back. It was too heavy on the airplane. What um, shoemakers used to put your shoe on, you know, to fix it. And, um, my cousin used to work at a, the railroad and you know, when he was like 16 or something and have the lantern with the light and records. And there's just a lot of things. And you know, people say, and I think myself too, like, I mean, how much longer am I, I mean, not to say I'm going to die tomorrow, but how much longer am I going to live? It's more stuff to get rid of. And kids don't care anymore about, like I do, about memorabilia and sentimental things. And But I just love it. Oh, she made one of those compacts. Look at that. I've been wanting to make one. Like, um, this is on Refunction Crafts, if she, if that's the one she's, oh, and I need a mirror because I'm always running late. So I have to put, if I'm going to put any makeup on and I take Uber, I have to do it in the, in their car. <laughs> and the other day I said, do you have a, do you have a mirror? It looked to me like I was crazy. Look at that little angel. That's gorgeous. And those are all red rhinestones. I guess you could buy these new. I have to say, when I show you what I got the other day, because I wanted to make one, I'll show you the couple that I had gotten from the, um, that's an old one, from the, place. This was eight dollars. Then it was a dollar and a half and then I got this so I could make one. But that is gorgeous. The red and the rhinestones and the angel. They're pretty. Thank you so much. I always feel like my thank yous aren't enough. I don't express myself like I see other people do. But I've always been like that. I love I love things, but I'm not a... And I do have a lot of expressions, weird ones. But when it comes to things people buy me or make me or give me, I don't know how to show, it seems to me, in the appropriate way how much I like it. And I don't know how she did all this while moving. And you guys have to tell me how I, maybe we should put two together. Oh, I take the sweater off, I'm dying. Either I have the heat on or I have the air conditioning on. The heat on, the air conditioning on. And yeah, nothing came off of her bows. Really? Well, 
Karen, I certainly didn't expect this when I just asked you to, if you had some seam binding. That's adorable. I, like I said, I love little things. And this is so cute. And I love these little envelopes. I end up saving these bags, and then I forget I have them. See this one I broke. And this I'm gonna keep out and put on my, and that's cute. I don't know what I did. I can't remember now. Like I said, I'm trying to figure out if I change my name, first of all, for some reason, there's two names now on, I don't know. When it says like sign up, it'll say 504. Then it'll say sign up with your Google account. And then I put Gail Fleming or whatever. Now I have a 504 Gail Fleming and a 504. One has four subscriptions. And I don't know, that's the stuff. I don't know what to do to change it. Everything takes so long. And even when you go to the doctors now, everything's a portal and I know I, I can do it. It's just a pain in the neck. Everything you do, you have to go to this place and then that place. And this is already an hour long, so I won't make it any longer and show you all this other stuff I have, but I do have a lot of cool stuff you'll like to see and some you can have if you want. But I wanna thank um, Karen so much for this. Especially since you're moving, I didn't expect it. And let me know, she is, um, If you go on, I think, a messenger, you'll see her, but she has like a whole different, um, and I don't understand all that, different place where you go for her stuff. And I forget what it's called. Um, and I just love my surprise gifts from Debbie Vignola. I'm trying to think. Maybe I asked her a question once or something. And you know, I watch people's channels and then I, I run through them all and I forget to comment. But I can't wait to decorate these. I need to get some, um, you know, in the beginning, People would give me things that I had no idea what I was supposed to do with them. You know, those little cork, those little screws that you put in corks and stuff. I had a bunch of those too, but I thought, well, what did you do with these? I think I gave most of that stuff away. And then the other day, this isn't a very good one, but I went to make like a, a cork and I had to use my imagination with some wire and stuff but the problem is I don't watch the whole I watch the video then I forget part of it so then I do it finish it up like my way and then I realize why there's a certain way to do it and I'll show you my one more thing I showed you before but it's all finished and I believe this was a re refunction crafts thing too. I, it's a shaker. I think I'll take this off. But, see I go from thing to thing. I go from thing to thing. And then I tried to make a different flower, right? So I put all these scraps together because I had seen a long time ago and, and I had made one, a different, um, flower but then I thought oh I'll put more of these you know pieces on it's come to come out even better and it was like what a mess 
So I made it in a lump at the bottom, tied it up with something. Now I'll just have to figure out what to do with it. And I'll show you the other stuff, but I have to tell you, when I try to order something, like I wanted to order o some O-rings, so all of a sudden I have this thing with um, Amazon because it's just so fast. So I wanted to order O-rings. Well, let me show you what I got. And then I hate sending things back. <laughs> I guess I don't know between, you know, millimeters and everything I get is either too small or, or too big. Then I wanted to order, well, this is only one box. I ordered another box and it was still wrong. Magnets, because I use those like that one you saw, that those Neo something or others, and they're real strong. They're the ones I put on my glass holders. So this is what I got. I figured somebody could use them for something. <laughs> if you think of anything, tell me, look, they're real strong. So I have five of these. I know I should just send them back. That's my problem. That's why I don't like to get things that you try on or whatever. Then there was some other ones I, so I got the next bunch and they're this big, but they're silver. What else? I don't know. They look right when I'm buying them. And then, I finally did get some O-rings that were normal. And then I accidentally ordered two packages because it doesn't, I don't know if they trick you or what. It doesn't say then submit or whatever. Before you go to say it's okay, they already have your order on the truck and on its way here. And I'm like, I can't figure out whether did I order it or didn't I order it? And then it says your card is empty. So I go back. And order it. And then I get two. So, I'm just a klutz. I don't know what to tell you. But I'll show you the other um, stuff that I, I got. I made some things. Wait to see this dress I got. Oh, cutting it up will be. But it's a size six. And it was sitting outside like at a sidewalk sale when we went to um, this other little town last Sunday. I took my mother and my son's friend, because my son's in North Carolina. He enjoys my company actually, more my kids don't. And um, so anyway, we went and took my mother to, um, I don't know if you guys have ever had like the Maryland crabs where you break them open and you cut yourself all up and you um, you get very little meat out of them. Men usually don't like them because there's not a lot of meat. And they make they made it in garlic butter. And then there's the little German stores and stuff. Well then, you know, I took my mother in all those places. Then and they had a hat in this one in this I went in this antique store. Oh, it's where it's not where people have booths, but she had all this stuff. Some, like I wouldn't pay that amount, some just cheap. And everything you could think of, like from when you were a kid or your grandmother had, or beautiful lamps and do it, everything. And she did tell me, when I said something about chenille, that I had some chenille bedspreads, she said, oh, she said, uh, and then doilies, like that maybe had little holes in them or something. She said, you know, so you don't care if they have spots or doilies? I said, no, or holes or whatever. She said, because I have a ton of that stuff at home, but I can't sell it. So I said, I'll tell her when I'll come back, just 
exactly what I need. I mean, I don't have an ounce of space here to put another darn thing. Matter of fact, I got this and it was cheap there. Oh, I had to get it just because it was a big basket. <laughs> I put one of my bows on it. And I have all this material in it. Then I have baskets and baskets and drawers. And, oh, but, oh, that reminds me. We n never finished up talking about the, um, the scrap swap. Like I've had time, right? But I have so many scraps. I have, you know, the bigger ones. I have the tiny ones. I've been making some scrappy things. I made this. Just fooling, fooling around while I was sitting in bed. But, and I forget the names. A couple people gave me their names. But I'll write them down and may not be able to do it for a month or so. But if you want to have a scrap swap, you know, say whether you want little pieces, tiny little pieces, bigger pieces. I mean, I have both. And like, you know, like I have this piece that's, I mean, these aren't exactly scraps, but these are all the pieces of, well, it's not even half the materials that I have. And I have a thing with white ones and a thing with sheer ones. And then I have two big jars with the tiny little things. So anyone who wants to do the scrap swap, we did it a while back, there were eight of us. And then I partner people up, maybe like if there's international, international, if you want to do it international with international, if we have enough, because you know, you don't want to send scraps and have to spend a lot of money on mailing things. Um, if you like bigger scraps, you know, bigger pieces, um, just uh, put your name down, and say, you know, in the description thing. And this one or the next two videos I do. Um, or message me or whatever. Email is a little iffy because I forget to check it. I mean, I think I have really like 90,000 or something. <laughs> um, and I forget to look at my, my email. So messaging me is really the best or put it underneath my, the videos because I don't use my computer, really. I use my phone for everything, my iPad. So if you're interested, and I throw other things in there too. Like whoever gets one of mine, I'm sure will get some of these. You know, and all my boo-boos. So, um, I tend to throw a little bit of everything in there. Um, so give me your name and messenger is the most, um, you know, private, I guess, from anyone seeing, you know, if you want to put anything down, but, um, you know, they have this that thing where hide hide a comment or hide something or message. I don't exactly know what I'll I keep adding more things and I'm I'm more confused than ever. But um just give me your name somehow and we'll pair up people. And everybody had fun last time. I think, you know, if you want to comment if you enjoyed that. That would be nice. And do you believe, how could a person be on here almost 10, 10 years and have 450 subscribers? <laughs>
you can tell I do this more for fun than aiming towards having a lot of people watch. If you want to watch, fine. I know I get silly. I talk a lot. I whatever. But that's just me. And you can always fast forward. You know, sometimes I'll fast forward to the things I want to see. Especially if it's a long project that I'm not doing or I, I'm not going to do. But um, new subscribers would be nice. I did get a few this week and I have to go. I haven't had time really to go look and I don't even know where to go anymore. I guess you can still reply somehow to say thank you. Um, sometimes if you go to reply, it won't, it doesn't work. So I guess you have to go to the studio thing. I, I don't know. And sometimes that doesn't work either. So I, I just get aggravated and if they comment, I put a heart there. So anyway, I just try to do too many different things instead of sticking to one thing. Okay, I can't think of anything else at the moment, but I did get some more things from, the, remember the curtains that I'd gotten? Well, I've got a few more things, like a bunch of it, and some really cool things I got at the um, thrift store, and then there's a few things I made, which I showed you a couple. So, well, then I won't have to do that next time. I'll show you one other thing I made. I made this flower. Isn't that pretty? This material I got from um, Margaret, 7MRST, a long time ago. And I have it around that tea um, uh, hanger that thing, the kit from Annie, MS Garden Grove. I put it around here. I, I don't know why, I just love this material. And I have a small piece left. And it's actually a, I don't know, it's like a curly material. And then this is like at the end and I cut this part off. But you know how, I don't care how beautiful some things could be or not or whatever, but if something catches your eye, you really, you really like it. And I love that flower. Okay, I'll go. And I will show you all my little antique laces and stuff. Till next time. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Thank you again, Debbie. And Carehart. And um, Karen. I really, really was so excited that day. You know, you don't have much, well... You're here by yourself. I mean, what's there to look forward to but getting the mail? <laughs> and when you have three boxes, it was exciting. Even though I paid for the one, it went to a good cause. And if anyone's interested in these multifunctional computer pieces, let me know. All right? Okay, guys. Love you all. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh. Go to Marge's channel, Jane Marge, rather, and you'll see the um, birthday gift that she got after the drawing, but she put my name in. So she was just able to get the video up. Um, and she'd gotten another one, too, from Crystal Gill. Um, I'll tell you what, being on here is like, you know, they say your mind is elastic and you have to use it and... Just remembering the names keeps my mind elastic to a point. So it's good. It's good for us to remember all these details. And the name I was, did I tell you the name I was thinking of? I saw a name somewhere, Abby Rose. So then I thought of Abigail Rose. And then because I don't do any particular thing, I'm eclectic. I thought, eclectic Abbey Rose. 
but maybe some people don't know what eclectic is. See, my house is eclectic too. It's a little bit of everything. So, but that Abbey Rose is just such a beautiful name. I wish I could have another baby. I would name her Abbey Rose. But no more kids, please. Um, anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.